Hi guys, I've got some quite exciting news for me anyway. It's not just my new retro -y hair. I've bought a Silhouette Cameo 4 and it's on the way now. I'm so excited. So I've been thinking about buying two machines or like a second machine for quite a while because when I get really busy on Etsy, if I could have two machines running at the same time, it would mean I could do things so much quicker. And I was kind of weighing up between the Maker and the Cameo 4. Obviously, I'm a lot more familiar with Cricut, so it would have been probably easier for me to get a Cricut Maker. But then I read about the Cameo 4 that it has a built-in vinyl roll feeder, so you don't even need to put vinyl on the mat, um, on a cutting mat. You can just feed it into the machine and it cuts straight from there. And I'm just figuring that is going to save me so much time when I'm making vinyl decal orders that I need to give it a go. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too hard to figure out. We'll have to kind of wait and see. But yeah, I'm really excited for it to get here and to have a play with it and to see how I get on. here and I think this is where the thing flips up for you to put the roll in. Not entirely sure how that works. Um I don't know if I'm just being stupid but it's not entirely obvious how the front panel opens as well. I'm assuming when you turn it when you plug it in and turn it on that's how it will open. I guess I just have to figure it out. So it looks like it comes with two types of plugs. This is a British one and I can't remember if that's a European or a US one, but I'm sure wherever you buy it from, you'll get the right one included. So that goes in the side here and then there's a button on this side here. Oh my god, that is noisy. Um, it's definitely noisier than my Cricut machine when it turns on, but it's kind of a different kind of noise, right? So how do we open you, open you? Okay, so that's a lesson not to try and use your camion for the first time without watching a tutorial first. Um, so this took a little bit of like snapping upwards, it sounded, it made a horrible noise. But all you have to do to get that up is lift it up and then push it through. Um, so I'm going to insert the auto blade now. Um, so it looks like it just comes with the one auto blade, and but if you want a scoring wheel or what else have they got? Um, no, sorry, a rotary blade, knife blade, or punch tool then the housing's included, but I think you would have to buy the blades separately. That's what it looks like anyway. But for vinyl, I'm probably only gonna want to use the auto blade anyway. Okay, so that's it. There. 
and I'm going to take all the tape off. It's all the bits and pieces gone. So I believe to insert this. Press it in, that actually went in easier, easier than Cricut blades do, um, and then you push that forward to lock it in, and then that should work fine. And then the reason I bought it was for the final roll feeder, so I believe this kind of lifts it, pulls out, lifts up there. Everything when you're first kind of getting it out is a little bit catches a little bit but if you just push it, it seems to work um and then yeah i think you you must put your roll on here i'm interested to know how big of a roll you can put on there a lot of my rolls are like quite big i'm wondering if that's gonna work um i mean it looks like it would i'm assuming that's the wrong way actually because you have to feed it. I think this looks like it does fit quite a big roll as long as it's within 12 inches and then you feed it, I don't know if you can see that, you like feed it through and then pop it in the machine. So yeah this is the reason I actually bought this machine was for the roll feeder. I spend so much time putting vinyl on the mats I'm just hoping this is going to save me loads of time. Um, yeah, rather than having to stick things on every time. So, so far so good. Um, the blade's installed, everything's set up. My only one issue is that these mats don't have holes in like the Cricut ones. So I'm not going to be able to hang it on my wall, but I guess I could make my own hole. But I think you can probably interchange mats anyway, so maybe I would use a Cricut mat on the silhouette. Maybe I need to check that before I do it, because these are quite thin and flimsy compared to the Cricut ones. Um, but yeah, but hopefully I won't need to use mats that much anyway if I'm going to be using the roll feeder a lot. So I'm going to try out um, the software now and try and put something and see how it compares to my Cricut. So I've actually had to wait a few days before I tested this out. I had a load of Etsy orders that came in that I had to work on. So I've just been using my Cricut still for the past few days. So I'm dying to try out the Cameo and see how it works. So let's have a look. So I've already created an account with Silhouette and downloaded the software from the internet. So this is it open already. I can already tell from here that it's a lot more complex than design space and there's a lot more features to it. Um, it's probably also a lot more of a learning curve if you're a beginner with design software. But even I, I use Photoshop and I'm kind of a beginner with Illustrator but I know my way around it. But some of these things I have no idea what they do so it's going to probably take a little bit of exploring. But to begin with, I'm probably just going to be uploading PNG files um, into the software to cut rather than using Silhouette Studio to design in. Just while I get used to the machine and then maybe I'll try out some different things. With the basic Silhouette Studio, um, I believe you can't upload SVG files. So if you want to do that, I think you have to upgrade to the business one look into it though I'm not an expert on silhouette yet um, but luckily you can upload PNG files which is what I save all of my designs as. I've got another video about that which I will link um, just how I do everything in Photoshop and then move it across to cutting just because it saves me a lot of time. So yeah I'm going to try and pull a file in first. I'm just going to be using the roll feed so I'm not going to try and set um, a specific size for a mat or anything like that. I'm really just going to try the basics while I'm testing it out. Okay so I've just dragged file in that seems to have worked. So this is 11.5 inches so it should fit across the top. 
There must be a quicker way to spin it, but I'm just going to do this for now because it's what looks obvious to me. Um, not sure how you know how it's straight. There must be some way of putting like grid lines or something on there so you know the size of everything you're cutting. I guess that's another thing I'm going to have to figure out as I go along. With stuff like this, um, when I'm trying to learn software, I just I usually just click through all the buttons and try it out on different things. It's the best way to get to know things. Just to just to test everything. Okay, so I've got my design. I'm gonna send it to my machine. Um probably would help if I switched it on. Okay. Okay, so I've set it to final mat. You get a huge list of materials to choose from, just like on a Cricut Air and Cricut Maker. It's automatically um, select. It's automatically selected cut, which is what I want to do. So that's good, and it's detected my auto blade in there. Not really sure what no cut and cut edge mean, but it's selected cut, and that's what I want to do. I don't know if this is the right force and speed but it's automatically selected those so I guess I'll try it. So it's found my machine here at the moment but actually just to note that when I first opened Silhouette it said it couldn't find my machine and it's because I think it needed a firmware update so I had to plug it in, um, let it update and then only then would it find it on Bluetooth as well. You can check in this left bottom corner though whether it has connected. So it's connected by Bluetooth but not by wire because it's not plugged in. So that's weird. I'm going to load my material but I'm actually going to do a test cut first just to see if it um, if these settings definitely work with the vinyl. I saw that somewhere that should always do a test rather than wasting a load of vinyl um, and it'll give you a little cut in the vinyl I think to see if it works so I'm gonna give that a go now so I'm gonna load my vinyl in the machine okay so I'm gonna pick everything up I'm gonna get everything out and ready Remember to lift those little bits up so you can pop the vinyl in there and then you want it to point towards the machine. I say that as if I know what I'm talking about, I don't really, I'm just kind of guessing. Um, and feed it through this little section here and then push it into no so you've got to lift the bar up with this little thing on the side and then push it through you've also got to make sure these little this white thing is pressing onto the mat so you can move it by pressing the gray little button in and then it slides along but it can only stop where there's a little ridge in the bar I don't know if you can see it from there but it's obvious when you've got the machine so I'm going to stop it in the little ridge make sure it's clicked in and then it's going to be pressing on the vinyl and I'm going to press it push it in as far as I can making sure it's under both of the rollers on either side I think if you line it up with the left hand side um, I think that means it's in the right place and that and then you can get it straight but I guess we'll soon see it doesn't really want to go in there mm. okay try pressing that down and then press the little button to feed it through Hopefully that will be straight. So I'm going to do my test cut now. Let's 
So it's done a little triangle square in the corner. Um, and it has definitely not cut through the vinyl there. So I think I'm going to have to put, put more pressure on. Okay, so yeah, it looks like, if you can see that, it looks like it needs to be on a two on here in order to cut through the vinyl. So obviously the silhouette automatic settings don't work on this type of vinyl. But I mean, most vinyl is this thick, so I don't really know where they've got their information from, but that's fine, I'll just make sure from now on to set it at two, or I wonder if there's a way you can save it so it automatically does it that way every time. Um, so now that's done, I will actually cut my welcome. So take that up again. It doesn't matter that the test bit is in that corner now because it's not going to interfere with my design. So I think need to really get in the habit of locking and unlocking the bar because I feel like that's going to cause me some trouble if I forget to lock it down again. Right, so that's it down. It's pushed all the way to the left. I'm not really sure if that's in straight. It's, it's really hard to tell. But um, I'll try cutting that and we'll see. So just send it. Okay, so that looks right, we'll soon see. I'm not gonna send it through the back to use the cutting thing because you can't see it um, and I'm not 100% how to do that yet. So I'm just gonna pull it out and then I'll just cut it manually with scissors. So moment of truth, has it cut the vinyl? Well, we'll see. Um, it's not a good start. Okay, so it has cut it really well, other than this section on the end. I don't know if it's because it did give me a warning to say some of the design was outside of the cut lines. It might be something to do with that. So maybe that's something I just need to be careful of. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a, really, it was a bit weird, but otherwise um, gets yeah, cut just as well as my Cricut. So that was my first cut on my new Cameo 4. And I'm quite happy with how it went, although it did take a little bit of fiddling with. I think, I still think that if you're a beginner, a Cricut is definitely better. Cricut there. Um, I started off three and a bit years ago with a Cricut and I don't feel like it was as much of a learning curve as it was setting up my silhouette. It was a lot easier to get the materials in, the software is a lot easier to figure out stuff like that but now because I already know how to use a Cricut and design software and I'm used to working in vinyl I don't think it'll take me very long to pick up this and get in a kind of routine of using it so I'm quite excited to see how much time it's going to save me when I'm doing orders for people so that's going to be good um, my only other issue with it is that it is quite noisy 
Um, definitely noisier than the Cricut, but they, they are both noisy. So I think if you're going to get a cutting machine, you've got to kind of deal with the fact there's going to be noise. Yeah, so I'll try and share some more videos of me trying out different things with it soon. If there's anything you want to see or any other kind of comparisons between Cricut and Silhouette you want me to do, let me know in the comments and please subscribe for more videos like this and sign up to my newsletter where I'll be sharing more tips and tricks for cutting vinyl and selling them. But until then, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.